inside all day watching internet videos is going to make you a better person. What's up, Matt? What's up, guys? Special Tackle Tuesday here on YouTube. Let me know if you can hear me good. <clears throat> awesome, Matt. So, uh, I haven't streamed on a uh, weekday in quite a bit, um, and I got a really awesome care package in today from Six Cents. So, I'm going to show you this as well as... Do a little live on wrapping and gifting of this little toy here. This is the new sensory rod from Six Sense, and uh, I'm really, really excited about this. Yeah, bud, we're gonna try to get little Bill on here. This is not the Bateman box. This is actually um, uh, a box of stuff I ordered that uh, I needed, and they threw some other special stuff in here as well. So. Uh, Really excited to uh, show you guys what I got, and we're going to go over that new rod. And uh, we're, we're still going to stream Saturday night live, and we're going to talk about spring jig fishing. I'll show you my favorite jigs and uh, some tips and tricks on that. So, But, uh, yeah, we're going to get a new Bateman box, uh, probably get started here in the next week or two, kind of a spawning deal. So some of the stuff you see me unbox tonight will probably be included in your Bateman box. Uh, the next time you order from six cents uh, once we start the the new edition so awesome art that's great man so I'm gonna get me a little swig of Mountain Dew but uh, really glad that everybody enjoys uh, the new audio and the camera uh, obviously uh, the quality is much much better than before so I'm gonna get this box right here uh, we're gonna go ahead and I kind of opened it. I'm not going to knock myself, but first thing I got is, man, I really need a new hat. So, got me a new six cents uh, hat. I really like these hats. Matter of fact, I'm just going to throw this one on, retire this one for the day. That haircut's courtesy of my wife. So, put this one on right here. Fits pretty good. Probably need to break it in a little bit. Um, probably need to take the tag off. But uh, I really like these Richardson 112 style hats. They fit me really, really good. Um, and then I got uh, I got a little bit of clothing. And if you guys haven't seen these, these are awesome. Um, and I've got one, but I wanted another one. And this is actually a, a, a long sleeve. Um, and it's got a little hood on there to keep me protected from the sun. But it's a real thin material. So you can fish in the heat, or you can fish when it's cold, you know. But these are like 30 bucks. As always, you can use that code BAITMAN to save 10% on Six Cents website. So that's just some accessories I got. And uh, they tossed me another one of these sweet rod sleeves in the neoprene rod sleeve. I got a Mega Bass hat too. Oh man, just ordered more Six Cents from TW. Right on, I understand that. Uh, anytime you order from Six Cents website, you can use the code uh, uh, Bateman and get ten percent. Yeah, man, Muddy Flats. It's a cool store. It's about time for some bow fishing. So, uh, let's see what I got here. I'm really gonna go in no particular order, but I got some new colors. Um, this is the fifty. Uh, this is the Silent Crush, and this is a new color. It is lavender citrus. So. Me too, Brock. Me too. So this is a new color, and this is the Silent 50X. So there's not a little rattle in here. And see if we can uh, get that thing to focus. So it's got a little silver back, a little chartreuse on the belly, a little light pink. Really like that. You know, it's not purple. It's lavender citrus. Kind of a play off that old school Norman color. Um, probably gonna like this one in the, in the fall. Hey, Ethan, thanks for the uh, donation, buddy. Uh, appreciate that. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. So that's a new color from Six Cents. That is Lavender Citrus in the 50X. I'm just going to put that down on the ground. Uh, let's see what else we got. So this is a color I really like in the Quake. And now they've got it in the 100X. And this is the silent model. But that is Tiger Truce. And 
Whew, you know them jaints to be on this thing, especially in that dirty water. Our lake's clearing up quite a bit, but if you're uh, on any of these southern reservoirs with a little bit of mud, a little bit of dirt, uh, there you go. I do know Eric. I do know Eric. The coast event on Kentucky Lake is this week. I, I actually got to practice with my fishing partner, and uh, it's tough. I actually caught a few uh, fish with him. Uh, no jaints, but... Uh, how many beers will I go through before the rod? Not too many. Not too many. I'm not going to unbox every bait, but this is a great color now released in the 100X, and that's Tiger Truce. Very similar to that green tomato color from Strike King that everybody likes. But Man, I've had a lot of success on this. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this bait actually has some, some green eyes, and that's pretty cool. What's up, DIY Bass Fishing? They sent me a heck of a box, too, so we'll see what else is in here. You know, if you got the Bateman box, you got some of these Craw Bomb mini mags. Uh, I actually got a couple of them because they, they've been snatching it pretty well. Um, all right, so you guys that like the Curve 55, I know I do. Here's another new color, uh, more of a shad color. This is Ghost Table Rock Shad. I don't know if you can see that really well with the light, um, but it's actually pretty clear almost more of a chartreuse shad not as much really purple but that's you know for you guys that like those wiggle wart style baits a curve 55 and more of a, a shad color these are really really good baits uh, by the way very good finesse crankbait uh, really like this new color um, let's see what else we got in here Got another another mini bag. Thanks, Nuppy690. I appreciate that, man. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. Uh, I'm not sure where the rods are manufactured. I'm going to say overseas. Uh, I know they're, um, you know, they're not built in Texas. Um, so that's a mini mag, and that's shad scales. And I've been trying to get this one really bad. This is going to be uh, a really good late spring, going into summer when them gizzards. Uh, start the shad spawn everything and uh, I'm really really excited about this bait especially in that color I really like the mini mag it doesn't pull hard at all for a bigger square bill very similar that you know strike king 4.0 just a couple really good crankbaits uh, man I'm gonna have to get me a couple bass mafia boxes that are just dedicated to six cents baits Kevin, that red eye shad behind you with the red craw color is sure hard to find here. Believe it or not, uh, this you know this this Delta Red Strike King. Uh, this is a a great bait. I throw it quite a bit. I I ran into my local academy and they had all the Strike King stuff 25% off. So I had to load up a little bit. I wish I was giving away a rod. I wish another craw bomb mini mag. So here's here's a bait that I, I don't talk about a whole lot. I've got uh, I got a couple movements um, for six cents. Uh, Victor, I'm probably gonna say here about mid-April. Um, so this is the movement wake, and I really wanted some wake baits. I don't have a whole lot of them, but this movement is an awesome bait, and this is the wake version. This so fish right up on top of the water, and then for this really shallow, dirty water. I got me a normal movement and you can tell the bills are different on these whereas the wake it's almost straight up and down whereas the regular movement is at an angle uh, really really like this I think uh, fishing that you know two foot or less water this is going to be a, a killer killer bait with a lot of different action that probably not a lot of guys are throwing around here uh, any small crankbait that dives 10 foot plus, uh, the cloud, and I'll show you some C6s, they go about 8 feet, um, but there's, there's the wake, really like that bone color, I'm really excited about uh, throwing some of these wake baits, I know Ben Milliken smashes them on the movement. What is the tightest action crank 6 cents offer, non-lipless? The tightest wobble is probably going to be the flat 75X. Uh, that or probably uh, the curve is going to have the tight one. But I like that flat 75. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. There's another movement. 
another wake, and that's Ghost Pro Shad. Man, I've been killing them on that Ghost Pro Shad jerkbait. Um, all right, here's another new color in the Crush 50X. I got to work all night, Dustin. Got to work all night. This is a really cool color. They call this uh, Rayburn Ghost. And it's kind of a, I don't know if you can tell in here, it's kind of a purple, a clear, almost uh, very similar to like that Mega Bass Pro Blue. But instead of it Pro Blue, it's more like a Pro Purple. And uh, I like that. That's that's sick. I really, and that's in the 50X Silent. So that's a new color, and it's on the Six Cents website. And I got a couple of those. Uh, not just because they're purple, but I, I do like the little translucent stuff as water clears up and I get them now because if I, I try to get them in the fall, they'll all be gone. Uh, this is a sweet color. This is called Sunfish Magic. Uh, this is the 100X. This is a sweet, sweet looking blue yo color. It's almost got some silver and black. It got the orange throat on here. Uh, man, I, I really like this one right here, the Sunfish Magic. That's a great bait. So I got some square bills and some blue yo colors as this water warms up. The brim is starting to get more uh, uh, active. And it's something that I used to not throw very much with bluegill colors. And uh, it's turned out that's been a pretty good staple for me. What are your deciding factors to use a wake bait? Uh, start seeing a lot of fish, you know, busting uh, bait up shallow. Um, I like it when it's windy. Uh, got a little bit of ripple on the water seems to be the best for me. Uh, you get a lot of fish, maybe they're trying to chase a buzz bait, not really eating it. Maybe you're throwing a frog and they're slapping at it. That's when I like to throw a wake bait. Or over the top of grass. That's a really good place. If I was throwing a curve 55 on mono, how deep would I get it to dive? Depends on your line test. 10 pound mono, uh, you could probably get it at least 8 foot. I mean, I was throwing it on uh, 12 pound fluoro the other day and I was sitting bottom at 9 foot. So. 10 pound mono, you probably get eight, eight to nine foot abs pretty easily, maybe even deeper. All right, let's see. Got another 50X uh, in that Tiger Truce color. Man, I got way too many hard baits. So here's a cool bait. This is the Cloud 9 C6, and this color is called Sob's Juice. So if you haven't thrown the C6, it's a kind of a little brother of all the cloud baits and this one dives four to eight feet very similar to like a norman deep little in i really like this sob juice again a really good shad pattern i had to put my hand up here and see if we can get it focused on the color it's got those scales on the back man this thing's sick so that's one thing i really like i've either got really deep divers or really shallow divers, so I made sure to get some of these C6s. Man, I used to put baits in boxes all the time. I can't do it no more. Let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, so here's that uh, lavender, lavender citrus as well. Would you recommend using six cents glide baits? Yeah, I've got uh, I've got one over my head here, a flow glider. I like it pretty well. Uh, I'm not the best glide bait fisherman, but uh, I'll give it a try. Um, dude, that's that's the C10 in lavender citrus. So a little bit deeper diver. This thing's gonna go out to you know 10 to uh, 12 foot. A little bit bigger profile in that C6. Really like this. Kind of where I would throw, you know, a, a Series 5 or 5XD. No problem, man. I don't even know how many viewers we got on here or anything. But I appreciate everybody uh, stopping to take time out of their day, join the stream. Uh, again, we're just unboxing this thing. We're going to try not to show you too many duplicates. Uh, let's see here. All right, this is very important I show you this. So this is absolutely new baits from Six Cents. Uh, this is the Mad Dog. Uh, dude, this is a big, giant topwater. So this is the Mad Dog 150 right here. And this is basically for hunting janks. 
This is a big, big top order bait. And this color is Shad Dawn. I like it because it's, it's white, but it's a little translucent. And there's some big Magnum uh, treble hooks on here. Now, one thing I am a little disappointed with, uh, not going to keep me from throwing, is I really like these big baits to have three treble hooks. But the way these are positioned on here, I probably shouldn't have any uh, problems with the hookup. Um, I throw my top order on straight mono, 15 to 17 pound. has a little stretch in it. Um, these hooks are pretty sharp here. Um, now, if I was having some hookup issues, I might go to more like a big G finesse hook or something like that. Or owner light wire but that's the 130 or 150 and then there's the mad dog uh, 130 I'm gonna say these are probably size one trebles so here's the 130 and that's 4k shad that's a great looking color so you can tell big difference here let me spin this around mag dog 130 mag dog 150 both are big top orders I really like this. Let's see how loud they are. Weight transfer system. And then let's see the 150. Man, even louder. Awesome baits. I like big baits and I cannot lie. So I'm really excited when it gets time to throw that big mag dog. Uh, probably a good striper bait too, for being honest. Uh, I'm more of a fall walking bait guy. I don't throw them a whole lot during the spring, but I don't know. I don't even have space. I'm throwing these in the floor, and I'm probably going to get on the Bass Mafia website and get a new Mafia bait. But so I got that one. I, oh, man, that's a big, big freaking bait. And all these are uh, should be in stock on Six Cents website. Again, always use that code Baitman for ten percent off. They don't make it easy to get back in the package. Though. We'll figure it out later. All right, let's see what else. I got me one of these right here. How do those top orders compare to Super Spooks? Man, I'll be honest, I haven't thrown it, but a Super Spook is a really good. That's Those are even better. They're louder. Uh, so I got me this. This is the Cloud9 Magnum um, Square Bill. And this will run about 10 feet deep. And I got this for uh, snatching some jaints, uh, kind of that pre post spawn when they first come out there on the gravel bars. This color is uh, Shad Truce. So we got a little chartreuse belly on there. Now, when you throw these big square bills, um, when you throw these big square bills, you're going to have to upgrade your equipment. You're not going to throw these on a seven foot cranking rod. I'd go to at least a 7.6, medium, heavy, moderate. If you got a 10XD rod, go with that. This is a big bait, but I really, really like this bait quite a bit. More, yeah, I would say it's more comparable to a Sammy. Um, probably more comparable to like a Vixen or something like that. Um, I think with two hooks instead of three, it eliminates the hanging in the front hook. That is a good one. That's a good point. I do get my travel messed up. Yep, whatever you throw XD6 on, you can throw it. Let's see, I got some more uh, Cloud 6s here. That Shad Truce color. Got, and then I got that Lavender Citrus in that Cloud 9C6. Really like that. And if you got a Baitman box, you got this one right here. Uh, and that is um, Chartreuse Spank. And uh, I didn't put them in the box for no reason. I like this bait and I love this color. So, well, that wasn't a dogma, buddy. That is the Mag Dog, uh, Mag Dog 130 and 150. So 130 millimeters and 150 millimeters. So you're looking at basically a five and a half inch bait and a seven and a half inch bait. And I even got some more Mag Dogs. Oh man, you know I had to go up and do this. I had to get me a big bone. A Mag Dog 150. You know, here on Kentucky Lake, anywhere in the south, we like our big bone walking baits in the fall. What's a good crankbait rod in the $100 price range? Uh, there's several good ones. Uh, just depends on what you're wanting to do. Are you wanting a deep crank? Are you wanting to throw stuff that runs about 10 feet or square bill? Um, a lot of good ones out there. Um, 
I've been using that, that sticks, uh, utility stick quite a bit. I like it. I've got a custom rod I use. Um, Dial will make some good cranking rods at $99. Um, Dobbins Fury is a really good one. Hidden Kentucky Lake Friday, what would you start off fishing? Uh, I probably should throw a spinnerbait or a chatterbait first thing in the morning. So this one is, uh, what's this color? Here's a shad scales in the 130. Man, this thing is beautiful. Really, really like this. This is probably the first one I tie on. So now, I'll be honest, the fish is gonna see that right there. But when these baits sit down like this in the water, they're gonna see a lot of that. But a lot of guys don't realize in clear water, the light actually reflect off the side of these baits uh, and, and fish can see that. A deep cranking for less than a hundred dollars um, man I'm gonna have to think that's the rod I spend the most money on um, you know the sticks reaction stick is 7.6 and it's really good for deep cranking maybe a little soft for a 10xd um, the Shmile, I think SLX may have a cranking rod but uh, St. Croix makes some good ones um, that's, uh, I know Lou's has some good crankbait rods at $99.99, so. But I've got, I got my Loomis, and that's what I really like, but I'm looking for different options. <laughs> I hear you, Mark. Oh, they did send me another little six cents bag. Uh, I'll, I got a good collection of these. Let's see what else I got in here for hard baits. Oh, yeah. Black Magic. We got to check out this back black magic so really really overcast days I'm gonna throw this bad dude right here oh that's the 130 that's the color everybody likes um, it's this has got a matte finish to it so that's really cool and unique uh, dirty water uh, not fishing there you go got another new color square bill as well here and this is called baby catfish I really like this guy baby catfish it's kind of like a translucent chartreuse and blue it's really different now this is in the 50x crush silent kind of matches my shirt it's called baby catfish really like that one cool name um, so my square bills were getting low. I'll, I'll break way too many off. I've got a pile going here. Yep, yeah, that is on the site right now. No problem, Tim. I appreciate you joining in, man. All right, let's see what else I got in here. I'm trying to get through all the hard baits. Another movement. And this color is uh, bluegill, G bluegill spawn. Really, again, another bluegill bait. Oh, this! I didn't know I had this in stock when I ordered, and I'm excited about this one. This is. Uh, I do not pour my own plastics. Uh, I'm not coordinated to do, do that. This is a cool new color in the Quake Thud. Now, this color, holy smokes, this is sick. This is called Shad Burst. Uh, I'm not sure if it does or not, Thomas. I don't think so yet. I really like this shad burst color. That is, uh, that's called an intention getter right there. Yeah, those Vendetta cranking rods are, are actually pretty nice. And actually, you can find some really good deals on Veritas cranking rods. And, you know, my fishing partner uses them quite a bit. And he catches them on it. Um. Uh, I think their rods are a lot better than their reels. I'll say that. This is the Quake Thud 70. That color is called Shad Burst. And I got it in this one too. This is the normal Quake 70 in Rayburn uh, Ghost. I was really excited to get that. Look at there. So, this is what the Quake 70 sounds like. I believe they use must have had triple grips, but man, I like that color right there. That's sick. 
I actually think it's gonna look like a little bluegill coming through the water with that little orange on there. But really like, really like the quakes. It's probably my favorite uh, lipless bait right now. I mean, I throw them all. I throw a Bill Lewis. I throw a Red Eye Shad. I throw all the quakes. I don't know about Hartwell. I think someone will win in a wacky worm. Uh, I'm almost done with hard baits here. I've got three more. Got me a, another mini mag and a chartreuse spank. You, you can tell I really like this mini mag. I like throwing these bigger baits. One in backwater bluegill, which, man, this, I got to show you this one. This one's sick, too. This is one of my... One of my favorite bluegill patterns made right now. I love how it has this dark kind of green back and blue and all this orange. Really like that backwater bluegill. And you get that in several different baits, but love that mini mag. I just hooked myself and yes, it hurt. I'll try to answer a few questions right here. What's up, Bob? Shoot, no, you can't beat that price on Vendetta. I have been I have a few of those little crankbaits, but never catch fish on it, so it makes me don't want to buy them. I understand? Uh, it's all about what they're going to eat. You know, it's funny. One day I can be smashing them on a Quake 70, and the next day I can go be on fish in the same pattern, and they really want a rattle trap or maybe a red eye shad. Uh, sometimes those fish, they get a certain key to uh, a certain action, and that's what they want. And, uh, you know, some of these may be some of my favorite baits, but I change. I'm not, you know, if I'm fishing with my partner and he's spanking them on a Lucky Craft LB500, chances are that's what I'm going to tie on. So, um, and I used to be that guy that if I didn't get a bit bought in 10 cast, boom, I change bait. Boom, I change baits. Now I get really confident in something. I'm liable to hang on to it all day. So, and then got another one. This this color was cool. It's kind of like shad scales, but it's called sleeper shad, and it's very similar to like. Uh, it's got a green gold back, very similar to that shad truce. So that's pretty much all the hard baits. But man, I really like the mini mag. Uh, the next Bateman box will come out here in about two weeks. Yep, IMX Pro cranking rods are six. Oh yeah, and I got one more 50X uh, custom bluegill. I really like this. You know, going between a bluegill and a crawl, you can really imitate both about there. Yeah, this is close to American Shad uh, by LC. Uh, it's actually more similar to what they call MS Crack and uh, LC Crack. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I went and bought a new Lucky Craft Sammy 100 the other day, an American Shad, and it is not the same as the old school ones. They are not using that scale pattern anymore. They're like, yeah, I'll be honest, I wouldn't pay 15 bucks for it just because the paint job was bad. What's up, Jack Mitchell? What do you know, man? New rod sock? Yeah, I got one. Uh, I got the neoprene one. Uh, all right, now... I got some stuff that I normally wouldn't buy, but I thought, hey, I didn't buy the decal. They sent it to me. Appreciate that. I think I'll throw that on the old laptop. But I got some swim jigs. So I got the Divine swim jigs. Here's uh, This is actually the braid swim jig. Um, I'll open this up and show it to you real quick. It might be hard to see with this color, too. How long do you usually stay with one lure without a bite until you change? Uh, if I know bass are biting a jerk bait, it could be an hour, could be two hours. Um, now, saying that, I might fish the same area with three or four different baits. Uh, I may go through an area with a jerk bait, not get a bite, come back, crank it, not get a bite, and then slow down with a jig or Ned rig or something like that. If I start getting bit on the bottom dragging stuff, I'll kind of know, man, they might not be on a reaction bite, but I'm still going to give it a chance. Um, I fish pretty fast this time of year. You can fish a slow jerk bait fast, just hopping points, hopping points. But jerk bait's really good at finding them. Uh, a lot of times, if you start getting bites and not hooking up, you can slow back down uh, with something else. But So this is the uh, Divine Braided Swim Jig. This color is called... Uh, 
I don't know. It's like a disco shed. But what's cool about this, number one, on their swim jig, you've got this trailer keeper that's a screw. And this has got a really stout hook. And it's for throwing on braided line. I got some of these to swim around when the water gets high. And uh, I got a couple of the braided ones. This one's 7 16 ounce. And then I had to get this one. A 3 8 ounce table rock shack. Thoughts on Guggen baits? Watch my video I did last Saturday on Saturday Night Live. Uh, I get that question every week. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to hate on them. Uh, I think they're pretty sweet, actually. Um, kind of did their own thing. This one looks killer. Table Rock Shad. Probably, for me, I'd have to have just a little bit more purple. But man, uh, I believe they'll eat this thing right here. Really like that. So you can tell this has a much smaller hook uh, than the braided uh, swim jig. Uh, I got basically all my swim jigs in 3 8 ounce. That's the that's the size I throw the most. Uh, I'll fish that, you know, less than a foot of water up to six foot of water. Let's show you what other colors I got here. And then we're going to get in that sensory rod because I got to get ready to go to work soon. Hey, I was looking to pick up some of those swim jigs. I've heard good things. I have used them and I like them. Um, I like uh, the screw lock on there and I like the hook pretty well. I like dirty jig swim jigs too. Uh, I really like their finesse swim jig. Probably as good if not better than anyone's, but if I'm on a big hook, I like these. Nichols makes a great swim jig. Uh, I would like to keep a tackle box full of everything, but I was really low, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna get me some swim jigs. Uh, what else have I got here? Oh, this one's sick too. This one's, uh, I got a lot of whites because I'm expecting a good shad spawn this year. And that's one thing I really like fishing is a swim jig and a shad spawn. That can be pretty stealth with it. And I know I seen this color at Academy, so I said I had to pick it up. This one is called Pro Blue. And you can tell it's got a little blue hue to it. It's got a little blue. The heads are painted to match the skirt, man. These things are sick. So if I'm gonna put a swim jig on, I'm probably gonna put me a you know a rage swimmer or a kayak on the back, something with a little boot tail. Also good structure bug, turn it sideways, you know whatever. That's the cool thing about swim jig. All kinds of different trailers. Do you think changing types of spinner baits makes a difference? Not necessarily changing blades, but changing styles. Yes, absolutely. Uh, there's many times where I can't get a bite on, let's say, a nickels. And then I changed something a little bit more finesse, a little bit more vibration, uh, like uh, the Accent River Special. When it gets tough, that's my go-to, and they'll buy it. Vice versa, sometimes they don't want all that big flash, a um, ton of vibration. They want something slow, uh, doesn't thump quite as hard, and then I'll, I'll go to, you know, a War Eagle. But that's a cool color. Now this one's kind of unique. Again, this is in the braided swim jig. And I forgot the name of this color. It's like something snake. Eight pound bass on a crappie jig. How does that happen? Do bass are opportunistic feeders. When they're hungry, they'll feed on something this small or this small. But I got this guy right here. And you know, I love that Baxter's Bug a dirty jig. But check out this. This is a six cents color. I forgot the name of it. I think it was it's like something sunfish streaker. And it's it's very similar to Baxter. But this is gonna be my dirty water swim jig right here. I really, really like that. And this is the braided one, so it's got that big hook on it. Yeah, I will uh, you know, Kitex are so soft and uh, that's why I do not use a lot of screw locks on Kitex swim baits. Uh, I would rather just have a standard keeper and some super glue. Thanks, John. I am slimming down. I've lost right at 41 pounds in the last year. So um, I'm just going to keep on keeping on on the weight loss, hopefully. I'm down to 180. I was up to 220 at one time last year. Uh, I Personally, if I could get down to about 170, I would feel awesome. I do trim my weed guards uh, quite a bit, but not so much on my swim jigs. Um, a lot of times I can see the bass eat this thing. I, I fish them that shallow. Dude, these things are killer around boat docks, too. 
just trying to put this stuff back up. All right, let's see what else I got. Man, I got a ton, ton. Another Table Rock Shad. Now this one's uh, a different. It's not a white. Hey. Yeah. We're going to first I'll be back before eight. Okay. I love you. This is uh this one's called bluegill fire. So I thought, man, I might need a bluegill colored swim jig. So I got this one right here, and this one's pretty sick. Lots of gold in it, lots of orange. Be ready to swim that guy around when they start to doing some brim start spawning real good. These bluegill colors in the swim jig are really hard to beat. I like throwing a skinny dipper on the back. You know, Six Sense has got a new swim bait coming out. And you may have seen some pictures on Instagram. And uh, it's going to be really, really good. Don't let the wife see the receipt. Uh, no, I, she ain't going to say too much. Um, she, su she supports the addiction. Uh, she knows I work pretty hard at doing YouTube and uh my normal job of the well but uh, she just went off to visit her grandpa for a little bit um he's a good guy and then i got some of these divine hybrid jigs so this color is called candy crawl and it is like a reflective green pumpkin if you can see that so i haven't fished these jigs very much uh, but I ordered some because I like the looks of them, especially the way they lay. Um, really like the skirt colors. And you can buy the skirts from Six Cents website anytime you want to. But that color's called Candy Craw. It's got a little reflection on it. Uh, and this is a cool head because it's not really a football head and it's not a casting head or a flipping head. It's very in between. It comes through cover pretty good. I have had one and I liked it quite a bit. Got a pretty good uh, hook on there. Um, I'm a light wire hook guy, but this is probably that medium gauge where I'm not going to be too worried about it. But I really, really like that. Yeah, guys, do me a favor. Hit the like button on this video for me. Um, uh, I like the six cents swim baits. I've got, uh, I've got some of these right here. The cores. Uh, I like these quite a bit. Uh, they hold up a lot better than the Bass Tricks. Uh, for the most part, they run good. They are uh, a little bit thinner. Uh, they got some pretty good action. Kevin, what's the difference between all these pro leagues? Uh, that's a no, another video all in uh, its moment. But uh, I'm a Major League Fishing fan, FLW fan, and a Bass fan. I like them all. Mainly, the difference is MLF, you weigh them as you catch them. Bass and FLW, it's your best five, you bring them to weigh in. Uh, which I'm a fan of both formats until it's about May. And then I really like the MLF when I'm as you catch them. I, I'm not a big guy on hauling them around in the heat. So, totally, we're going to go different to subject there. Jack, those are hollow. So, what else we got here? Some more hybrid jigs. Uh, that one is dark proof, which is like a green pumpkin in black and blue. This one's a cool color. This is called Cajun Bluegill, and this is a divine swim jig. So if you can't make up your mind between black and blue, or a bluegill color, or you live in that place that's got that dirty, nasty water, that one right there, that's pretty sick. I like this that, that Cajun Bluegill color. So What's cool about their swim jigs is when they pack them, they actually... Uh, they put these little bands around the skirts. And then once I get them out, I just don't put the band back on them. All right, when you throw the swim jig, you mentioned shallow six foot and boat docks. I will throw it pre-spawn, I'll throw it post-spawn, I'll throw it in the fall. Um, it's a good way to cover water too. Instead of a spinner bait or swim bait, you can go in there with that swim jig. It's a little bit more finessey. doesn't make a lot of noise. Very natural. Yeah, man, I need to do a new how to rig hollow body because I still get questions and there's some new tips and tricks I would like to show you guys. 
I love both and hate when I'm cruising around on the Six Cents website. All their baits look amazing, but when the bills gotta get paid, dude, I understand that, Charlie. I hear you, dude. I've I've loaded down some awesome tackle warehouse carts in my day and then hit the delete button. You know, I don't trim the skirt that much. Uh, sometimes what I do is take some skirt material out to get a more finesse approach. Swim jig is good on riprap. It's good on mud bomb. Probably one of the most versatile baits. In your box if I'm being honest with you uh, Jack for the most part I like a hollow belly uh, but you're right depth differences I like a big full swim bait if I'm fishing less than six eight foot of water where I can see the bait or it's kind of shallow um, I like the hollow bellies and stuff when I'm fishing 24 20 you know 18 to 24 foot deep and grinding on the bottom fishing slow because that's just me. Six inches or less, I kind of like the hollow bellies. What's up, Michael? I have tried the Breeze Coast swim baits. They're nice. Uh, I haven't thrown the Creep yet. I've thrown the Miyagi. I like it pretty good. Bass Pro has nothing anymore. Nah, man. Uh, you know, you'd be surprised. I shouldn't say that. I've been to the Nashville Bass Pro several times, and it blows my mind what they got. I just pretty much order from TW. Or great companies like Six Cents send me care package again. There's another hybrid jig. I'm excited about them. Oh man, we're almost at the end of the box here. Uh, if you don't know, Six Cents makes some awesome peg stops, and when it's Texas rig, rig time, you gotta have some of these. I got a I got a regular uh, divine hybrid jig in that Cajun bluegill as well. Um, this is a new color, and I'm really excited to show you guys this one. Uh, this color is a, called Spanish Juice. Oh man, this one's sick! Really, really like this one already. This one's gonna get some frequent flower miles out of me. So this is just the regular Divine Hybrid Jig. But you see that green and that purple and that black. You know, Jewel football jigs used to make like a, a, a watermelon purple football through a lot. Really, really like this. That Spanish juice is awesome. These jigs aren't bad. I think they're like four bucks or something like that. Really good prices on them. I, I think I got some good trailers on that. Probably put an old structure bug behind it. Let's see here. Now I get to throw these baits back in this big giant box. What's up, David Weston? Milliken throws a divine for a swim jig, flipping jig, grass jig, and I've tried them all. It is a, it's, a, it's a good bait, man. And Ben's one kind of told me, dude, you need to try this out. I love when you read comments and don't say anything like that. That's true. What's your opinion on P-Line Tactical? Uh, I've used it. It's pretty good. Um, it's not my favorite fluorocarbon. My favorite one is what you see behind me, Sunline. And I throw the canine um, fluorocarbon as well. Uh, really great cranking line. So um, I got some buddies that swear by Tactical. So you can also order your Divine jigs with the finesse cut. And I forgot what color this is. It's... Uh, you know, I don't even say on the package, but I like I got some three eighths of these jigs, and I when I'm using those smaller jigs, I like that finesse skirt. So I'll probably trim this up a little bit behind the hook, put me something little little baby on there. Um, this is really really good. I think this is like candy bluegill or something like that. I really like how it's got that blue haze to this thing right here but i really like that those these little jigs with finesse cuts when i'm throwing a smaller three eighths ounce stuff like that no it's not peanut butter smoke um uh, i thought about ordering that one i think this is uh let's see which one this is oh man this one's sick right here Really like that one. I like how thin these skirts are too. Let 
That one's almost like a magic crawl. Oh man. This is a, this is this one's sick too. This has got a uh, little bit of purple, a little bit of brown and red. Oh man. I'm really, really liking this jig. Again, I'll probably trim these skirts uh, quite a bit, um, but still, it's a great, great looking jig. And that's the Divine uh, Hybrid Jig with the finesse cut. So on the website, you can select if you want a finesse skirt or a normal skirt. So usually I like them in that finesse when I'm using a little bit smaller jigs. When and where is your favorite time to use a swim jig? Believe it or not, my favorite is uh, post-spawn uh, shallow cover uh, we have what we call uh, yellow flowers here and swimming them through those yellow flowers and around the ends of lay downs and stuff like that that's my favorite second is around when the shad spawn around boat docks and that's why I got those whites it's absolutely deadly I did I did man I, I, I'm impressed for time or I'll trim one up when I do the jig show Saturday, I'll show you how I trim my jigs and some other stuff. Straight jank skirt, yep. So there's some more Spanish juice. Uh, got a swim jig in it. Another divine. I love that Spanish juice. I got this one too. Uh, I'll show you this and then we're gonna get into that six cent sensory rod. Uh, I know you guys wanna see that. So. This is another braided swim jig, and this is called Raw Silver Sunfish. Oh, this thing is sick. It's just kind of like a bright white, silver, and gray. And raw means silver head, by the way. Uh, really, really like this swim jig. I might tie this one on first. but Again, the braided has that bigger hook in there, built for throwing super line on. Uh, I, I throw braid on a swim jig when I'm in really thick cover. Um, for the most part, I'll use 15, 17 pound fluorocarbon. So, all right, got that stuff out of the way. I'm gonna put a bunch of this stuff in the box. And, all right, yeah, I am. Dude, that's the worst part, Tim. When you get on the website and you try to order, and, and I did, there's so many good looking colors, it got really hard. And Nick, I mean, I was like, dang man, I'm at like 700 bucks right now. I had to lay off, but luckily, you know, they took care of me and said, we appreciate what you do, Kevin. Uh, we enjoy the videos and uh, Bateman Box has been great. And, uh, you know, we're gonna go from there. So some of those colors and baits, you'll probably get to see in the next Bateman Box. I really think I'm going to put a couple styles of swim jigs and some uh, compact divine jigs, or not compact, but finesse in there, and maybe load you down with some more hard baits uh, as well, some terminal stuff in there as well, because Sixth Sense does have tungsten and peg stops and you name it. I just like a regular silicone skirt. Uh, I don't get too crazy and all that other stuff. Dude, that swim bait heads are the deal. Uh, well, there's, does Baitman use the 10% off Baitman code when he orders? I have, I have. So, let's get into this thing right here. And this would make a great swim jig rod as 7.1 medium heavy. It's rated up to three quarter ounce, 10 to 20 pound line. Um, maybe I would not be scared to put 30, 40 pound braid on this. So let's, do this oh my arms aren't long enough oh man so this rod straight up I've already took it out once so this is the sensory rod um, it's got the little six cents uh, logo here one thing I like is it is not a split grip this is a full cork and it feels really really good and uh, engraving that I don't know if y'all can see that it says sensory um, really nice handle, uh, which is really cool, is this right here. And hopefully y'all can see it. Let's get this thing focused in. But 
right here on the handle obviously this unscrews I mean this looks very high-end um, it says six cents fishing rods right here um, let's see if y'all can read that lots of chrome signage on there uh, man it's really hard to see um, I may have to flip it the other way so y'all can read this So it has a label on here, 71 medium heavy. And I think the light's hurt me right now. So much light. There we go. The six cents logo, the sensory logo. This rod is super, super light. So uh, the blank up here, uh, it's rough feeling. Uh, I don't know if some of you guys probably felt like a Shimano Zodius rod. It feels very similar. I mean, it's super lightweight. I think the retail is going to be 249 on the sensory rod. So we're still going to make the Lux rods, which I have a Lux. It's a great rod. And then the Unicorn rod, which is supposed to be even lighter, it's going to be like 399 But this is kind of their mid price point uh, introduction. And uh, man, I want to go out and fish this thing really bad. 7 1 medium heavy, going to be super versatile. I'll be able to throw uh, swim jigs. I can drag a, a, a lot jig, spinner bait, chatter bait. Really, really, really like that. So I throw my alder bearing on that. Dude, this would be a great alder bearing rod. It is super light. I really like the longer handle here. Instead of a short, I've ha had some 7 1 rods that are really short handle. I like the longer handle. I really like all the aesthetics of this rod. It looks like three four hundred dollar rod um, I'm ready to use this thing hopefully I get to fish it yeah so you basically got that raw unfinished blank feel to it dude Scottsboro swim baits are the deal hey there's nothing wrong with ducket rods uh, the hundred dollar ghost rods are nice but they do tend to blow up quite a bit but for that price you know you can blow blow them up and I'm not the guy that's going to get on here and tell you you have to have $500 rods to go fishing because you do not um, I, I, other than my deep crankbait rod none of my Ross call, calls cost more than 190 bucks and uh, I really appreciate Casey uh, hooking me up and let me use one of these prototype sensory rods I'm really excited about it and uh, you know I'll still use my sticks and then my divers but I like to have a lot of everything so when people ask me questions say hey have you used that rod well guess what I can honestly say yes I have and it will go from there and you know what you know I'm not trying to be negative but I might throw that rod and say hey man in case we need to work on this there's some things uh, you need to know about that's why they send stuff to guys like me and Ben we give them honest honest feedback so what is the advantage of a longer rod handle? I've noticed a lot of companies have longer handles. I personally like it for comfort, um, and it will balance that rod out quite a bit. That is why I thought it looked very similar to a new uh, Levante rod. And that one's going to be $249.99. I imagine some retailers will keep a stock of them. Dude, there's, uh, that white ice duck, it's actually a good rod. I really like it quite a bit. Dude, X-Pride is a sweet rod. Really love an X-Pride. Um, I would be hard-pressed to find a better rod at that price than a Shimano X-Pride. Uh, they're a little different on their actions, but man, their construction is really, really nice. And they make a great deep crankbait rod, too. Don't jab me in the rib cage is bad for a longer handle. No, sir. No, sir. So... anyway guys uh it's almost seven o'clock been on here for about an hour and uh i hope you guys enjoy this prom to impromptu unboxing of uh six cent stuff and uh this new sensory rod it's really hard showing off rods in person because you kind of you can't feel it in your hand and you can only go by what somebody tells you but anyway I'm going to jump off here and tackle uh, Saturday Night Live. We're going to talk about jigs. Uh, I'll show you some 
uh, the best trailers I like and, and how to trim them up and stuff like that. And also, I want to do something different this Saturday. Let's do You Pick My Baits on Tackle Warehouse. So I want to make a Tackle Warehouse order, and I'm going to have a couple people make me a mystery. Uh, we're going to get on TW, and I'm going to pick five random people, and everybody gets to pick a bait. And I'll get the baits in, and I will try to catch them on it, or give you my review of new baits on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, so y'all pick the stuff you want to see on live and me review, and uh, we'll do it up on here. So anyway, that's something I'd love to do like every other week. Uh, let you guys pick the baits, and then Baitman talks about them. I review them, and uh, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go hang out with my little boy. We're gonna go to work and. Uh, Thank you guys so much uh, for joining in to the live feed. I enjoy it. And uh, I'll be uploading some more videos uh, this week as well. So um, thanks again, guys. Uh, be sure to like, share, and comment. And uh, peace out.